What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. My name is Patrick, wishing you happy holidays from Houston, Texas. We're at uh, George Bush Intercontinental Airport and we'll be doing a United Flight number 1252 from Houston to Eagle County in Colorado. Now this should be a, a three and a half hour flight. Weather looks good, no snow unfortunately in Colorado today, but uh, we'll get some of that one of these days. Right, we're going to take a look at the plan here. Mainly just going through Texas, we'll be uh, departing now this way, mainly in a north um, route today. And then uh, coming westward, and that's where we'll be entering Colorado, going to be doing a little bit of mountain flying. Uh, this airport's kind of tucked in the middle of some mountains, and uh, it's a very nice approach. That's why I chose this route. This is a seasonal route. I don't think they do this every year, and uh, we'll be doing it in a 737-800 series. They normally do this flight in the 700 series, but I do not have that pack by PMDG, nor am I interested in spending the money on buying that, so we're going to use the 800, and uh, that's what we'll be doing. I was happy to go on FlightAware, and I saw some 737 flights popping up. Um, earlier in their year, you will not see those as much. Uh, I think they do one from Chicago, um, Newark, or somewhere like that, and then um, Houston is another one. So we're starting the pushback. We are, uh, this is a flight, or FS Dream Team Airport. Purchased it just for this flight, and I was kind of a little disappointed with it. Um, kind of had some lag starting up the engines and some stuff like that. A little bit of flickering when I was doing the filming around the airport for the intro shots, but, you know, nothing, nothing too bad. Uh, so right now we're going to taxi over to runway 33 right and that's where we will be departing from. Had a stream recently, uh, the first ever stream on the Flight Sim Deck channel with Country Flyboy and it went alright. Uh, the only sad thing that happened was uh, when I was just starting to make my approach into the airport Prepare 3D crashed, and I did not get to make that approach, nor did I set up any save points, which I normally do. Even during this flight, it crashed on me, so... But I, I set up save points. Uh, I usually set up one after I set up the airplane on the ground, one at cruise, and then a little later in cruise, uh, just for that matter, you know, because it does tend to crash, especially after installing 3.4 seems to happen a lot more and uh yeah you just got to be safe with that but i did not do that with the live stream so i was stuck just messing around uh we took the raptor up we did some silly flying with the pmdg um just some stuff like that and i will be doing streams uh more now it's kind of addicting um I'm going to pop on just randomly. You'll find me just randomly streaming some days. You'll probably get the notification to your phone that I'm on stream and uh, off a planned flight and everything. We'll, we'll do that. And I'm going to do that very soon because I do want to redeem that flight being I did not get to land. And uh, any like big event flights with that it's going to be a collaboration or something, I will put those out a few days before they happen so everybody can make time for it. But um, I'm just going to be doing random flights to just you know, get more used to it. It's a lot of multitasking. I have even more respect for everybody that streams, especially if you're doing flight simulation, because flight simulation in and of itself is a ton of uh, multitasking, and then you add on the stream with the chat, trying to pay attention to that. Uh, sorry if I didn't get to say hi to everybody. It was just, you know, kind of hard to look at that and look at the flight, you know, until you get it all on autopilot and smooth sailing. So, all right, pulling up to 33 right. We're going to hold short here and make our final preparations on the airplane and then we will be heading out and for some reason my uh, brake and my reverse thrust buttons got switched so you might have noticed on the pushback uh, the reverse thrust was on 
a little bit. I don't know if that had shown up or not, but it was on just a little bit. And uh, also another thing, I forgot to turn the APU off, so I don't realize that until about 25 minutes into the flight. So we're sitting here taxiing around with the APU on and flying with it on, so that was a little mistake. Never made that mistake before. First time for everything, but hey, that's what happened. And uh, the, yeah, this is real life. It's real life, man. This is, this is reality. Um, let's see here. Just got the everything, just got the clocks on, timer set, and the uh, fuel reset. We re rated. The cabin lights are on, strobe lights are on, landing lights, taxi light, transponder is on TARA, and let's see, auto brake is off, engine start switches, no, it's the after takeoff procedure, which we have not taken off yet, so we will not read from that yet. Okay, I'm going to taxi onto the runway now. definitely drank my coffee today if I seem in a more of a peppy mood. Um, we'll be doing the stick four departure out of this runway and that will bring us up into the sky where we will be flying. Uh, sometimes when you guys hear me do this commentary I literally was recording it at like 3 or 4 a.m. which is the most quiet hours of the night but uh, this happens to be a little bit in the afternoon and I am all energized up. All right, well, I'm gonna shut up for now while we do this departure, and I will see you, or I will talk to you in the sky. V1, V1, rotate, V2. All right, positive rate gear up. Put the gear lever to off. Put the first notch of flaps up which I may have done a little early because we, we started to lose a little bit of speed here. Didn't really quite get into a dangerous level, but it still dropped off a little bit and then it climbed back up. Uh, so I gotta work on that a little bit. Um, yeah, we're just gonna hand fly it up to 10,000 feet. I need some hand flying practice on departures. Seem to be doing good with that on uh, rivals somewhat, so. I haven't really practiced it too much on the departure. So that's what we're going to do. Going up to 30,000 feet today. Auto brake off. Now all the flaps are retracted. APU is still on, like I said before, I forgot to turn it off. Um, I know some airplanes you can fly with it on and there are procedures where they you have to have it on. I don't know about the 737, uh, if anybody knows, uh, drop a comment um, if you know of any reason or procedure where you would be running the APU in flight. Um, because from what I know, it doesn't go back on until you are on the ground taxiing off the runway and then you start the APU, um, as long as the airport allows APUs. Alright, we are just about to pass 7,000 feet.
Okay, we're getting close to 10,000, so we're going to go ahead and let the autopilot take over. And we'll get the landing lights off. Should have had the retractable off already. I keep forgetting to do that. Very nice day. Um, we'll be staying away from any of the bad weather. Shouldn't run into any of that. This is the point of the flight where you're wondering where your pretzels are. Uh, they usually start to give that out very shortly. Okay, we are coming up on our cruise altitude of 30,000 feet. It's been a lot of clouds. I uh, edited it all that out because now we're just starting to hit the end of the cloud layers. And we can start to see some of the beautiful Orbex texture work here. Just updated my... Um, libraries in FTX Central. Speaking of Orbex, we'll be going to an Orbex airport today, which is Eagle County. Very nice airport. Kind of a little bit, a uh, little bit of chop up here. Only 15 minutes into the flight, nine more minutes until I realize the APU is on. I was glad I could get this flight out to you guys because I'm uh, going to be leaving, going down to Southern California uh, for Christmas, and I'll be gone for a few days. But then I got the entire week free, and I can do all kinds of stuff. Probably going to do a flight. I'll do some live streaming. Um, I might do a how-to video. Not sure about what. I kind of might want to do one on, like, my success in uh, on a flight, having a flight simulation channel in one year's time. Because I did achieve over 1,500 subscribers in one year, and that's... You know, that's kind of difficult to do with a Flight Sim channel because it's such a smaller community, you know, a Flight Sim only channel. And while, the, you know, the things are still fresh in my mind, I might speak on those things. Um, but if you guys have any other ideas or there's anything you want to learn how to do that I know how to do, um, put a comment in the description and I'll love to um, put one together. I'm going to have a lot of free time, like I said. Hopefully get a historical weather video out. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'll be able to get done, but we'll see. Definitely want to do a live stream. It will be it'll probably be just random, so like I said. But after doing one, I just like I want to do another one. You know, I wanted to keep going. I like I was like tomorrow I want to do one. I just haven't had time. Uh, but it was a lot of fun I keep talking to you guys while flying, and I really enjoyed that. Okay, about, what, 24 minutes into the flight, three hours more to go, should have just enough fuel to get there. Right now we're going to go up to 34,000 feet because it's getting pretty bumpy out here and we're going to see if we can find some smooth air at uh, flight level 340. Definitely don't want to upset the passengers back there. They uh, probably cannot get any drink service right now because the flight attendants are most likely sitting down with turbulence like this. And we don't want any unhappy passengers. Still flying over Texas.
Okay, a lot further along in the flight. Way past the halfway mark. Getting um, fairly close to actually our descent. Not much to see um, during that gap of time that I removed. Oh yeah, and so also next week what I'll be doing is um, I'm going to put together, well first before I say that, we're, what we're doing here is uh, we're going to program our arrival. Uh, we, we were able to tune into ATIS um, from this far away, so we're getting everything plugged in there. But I'll be doing um, a lot of end of the year stuff. I'm going to make a new intro. It's going to be the same song, but... Um, some different clips, some updated clips, uh, and uh, y'all be making that for the future videos. I want to do an updated settings video for P3D for the for 2017, and then I want to do like an end of the year montage. I want to get together a bunch of clips from all the flights over the past year that I've done and edit them to a song and get that uploaded. So I have a lot of ideas, a lot of plans. I have like eight different videos that I want to make and um, not sure how I will fit all those in but I will try it's starting to get a little bumpy again We're getting close to the mountains a lot of snow it's now um, winter time or if it isn't today it's tomorrow I think it's the 22nd or 23rd it's the first day of winter but it's finally here as you can tell in the world here Alright, finally making our descent. Again, bumped around pretty good. And uh, we'll be going down. We gotta hit 14,000 feet at our first waypoint. And then over to. The elevation here is like 6,500 and some feet. 547 feet, I think. So we'll go down to 9,800 after we hit uh, the 140. I don't think I've ever flown into this airport from this side. I think I did um, runway 7, if that's right. I think it's 7. Right now we're going into 25 pretty soon. early in the day getting this video done which is good normally when I try to get a video out to you guys before I go on a trip I'm literally like up the entire night before trying to get the video you know edited and, and everything done but I actually was able to record last night do the editing today and yeah gonna get this one out um, early so it won't be as stressful for me tonight I can pack and get a good night's sleep Fortunately, I don't get to fly, I get to drive down to SoCal. That'll be a while. Always like it when I get to fly, but we don't always get to do that. It can get quite expensive. I used to take Greyhound down to Los Angeles, and... Um, I hated it so much, so much. One day I got stuck on an 11 hour Greyhound ride uh, for a trip that should only take five hours. And that was just horrible, horrible, horrible. You're not guaranteed on the bus. Uh, you buy a ticket 
And if you don't get there in time, if you're not like in the right spot in line and you don't fit on the bus, then you gotta wait for the next one. I paid for the express route, which was six hours. The one I was able to get on was 11 hours. And that was just painful. And uh, I was just like, I'm never doing Greyhound again. It got to a point where I had a Greyhound ticket bus back up from LA and I would just be like, I am not getting on that thing. I'd go on Southwest website, one way flight, you know, hours before it leaves is expensive, you know, because it's last minute, you know. I would rather spend $200 to fly home than sit on a Greyhound bus for, for that long. Um, yeah, but when you get to drive yourself, it's not so bad. It's just Greyhound and you're crammed on there with a bunch of people and for that long you can't sleep, you can't get comfortable, it's terrible. You know, that's the story of the day. I'm trying to find little little stories to fill in here in the commentary during this flight. Because, you know, this is like a 35-minute video. i got to find stuff to talk about with you guys for 35 minutes. Try to be funny. I don't know. It's kind of hard to be funny when you got when you're just flying airplanes. I don't know. But, you know, I'm getting more comfortable with commentary, so that stuff comes out. Okay, next phase of flight and the final. We're going to be making our final approach and uh, putting the gear down now. I need to get slowed down. After we make the turn, I'm going to start the hand flight plane in. be the arrival. We're going to do the RNAV approach into the airport. It's very interesting because you go through these mountains. I really like this approach. Uh, a few new things I'm considering the, for the channel. Um, I do want to kind of play through maybe like old FSX missions. There's some pretty neat ones out there. I don't know if you guys ever played those, but uh, I do want to do those and do commentary over them and upload them. I might call the series like, like classics or FSX classics or something. I don't know. And then maybe occasionally some GTA 5 flying, like strictly the flying. I won't do anything else. I want to keep it aviation, but uh, do something like that, you know, and then try to keep it as real as possible with the procedures. So if that's something you guys would like, just holler at me because um, I'm kind of curious. I'll probably will upload it anyway, just to see what the response is, but uh, the... Uh, FSX thing I've been thinking about for a while. It's just I re-downloaded FSX on Steam, and then every time I open it, it crashes. So I'm gonna try using the uh, boxed version, which I still have, and try to run that, and maybe that'll work. I don't know. Right now, making the turn, getting the flaps out notch by notch. Got everything else ready to go. Speed brake is armed. Gear is down. Three green. Landing lights are on. Engine start switches are continuous. We have the borrow set, we just don't have it on yet. The auto brake is set. The uh, pack signs are on. I think we're good to go. Runway turnoff lights are on. And as you can see, the airport is down there, straight ahead. We're still not lined up yet. Uh, we're gonna, going to be soon. Had just enough fuel to get here. A go-around would push it, but I think we would even have enough for that, too.
Okay, turn the autopilot off, and we're going to hand fly it. I'm going to get the uh, auto throttle off, too. A little bit above the glide slope. We're not totally above it yet. We have one red. And uh, I'm going to try to get on there without increasing our speed too much. We can afford to gain a little bit of speed, but we don't want to get too crazy. We already have the flaps on 30. I'm not sure why we're not getting the call-outs today. Um, I have them plugged in. It could be that the elevation changes. We're not descending too crazy fast to where we wouldn't hear them. I don't know. But that's okay. Still above the slope. Um, trying to fly this best I can. Okay, now we're starting to catch the glide slope. slope. Flying over Costco, right there on our left. Right, and we're gonna try for the taxiway right here. And we have made it. Almost looked like we were gonna go too fast, but squeezed it in there anyway. Okay, auto brake off. Get the radar off. Going to start the, uh, the spoilers off. I'm going to start the APU. Lighting lights off. Strobes off.
couple United flights there. These are all static to this airport. This has nothing to do with the AI I have installed. This is all part of the airport when you purchase it. And we're going to pull into this gate here, D1. Use the air stairs today. We have the welcome party standing there to welcome us in. They're uh, not impressed. They're just sitting there with their arms crossed. At least the guy on the left is. And uh, I guess he's seen everything. But he has not seen this replay. And uh, there's that Costco again. Really funny that they modeled that. Um, got quite the flare going on here. This is the tower view. I'm going to give you one more view that I did myself. Wrapping around the front and coming around the side of the aircraft. Love when airports come with static airplanes like that. It just adds to it so much. Unlike the airport we came from uh, in Houston, had no uh, AI at all, which sucked. I don't know why I wouldn't load it in. But anyways, we got the uh, engine cutoff switches to off. The parking brake is set. Pack signs off. The generators are on. The, uh, let's see, APU bleed air on. Anti collision light off. Get the fuel pumps off, except for the left aft. You want that on while the APU is on. Wing anti ice, it's already off. Engine anti ice off. The hydraulic pumps off. I want to open the isolation valve next. Flight director's off. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching this. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever you celebrate, have a good time with your families, stay safe, and I will see you soon on the next video. Take care, everybody.